Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbyte. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. Another casualty of London's riots. Police across the water have launched a murder inquiry after a 68-year-old man attacked during this week's riots died in hospital overnight. Richard Mannington Bowes had been trying to put out a fire in Ealing when he was set upon on Monday night. Last night was largely quiet in most cities across the UK, with no major trouble reported anywhere. Thousands of extra police will, however, remain on the streets for the weekend. They're not so lucky in Chile, though. Violence again erupted on the streets as students continue their demands for changes in public education. The unrest, which has spread across numerous cities, has gripped Chile for more than two months. High school and university students have refused to attend class, taken over by schools and staged demonstrations to press their demands for fundamental changes in how Chile finances public education. Please help. The United Nations has issued a desperate plea to the international community for financial help for those affected by the famine in Somalia. The UN says at least one billion US dollars is needed to cope with the crisis, but so far less than half of that has been raised. Aid agencies say more than one million Somali refugees have now left their homes in search of food. Shook again. Chinese state media says 26 people have been injured and more than 30 homes damaged by a strong earthquake in western China's Xinjiang region. Three of those injured remain in a critical condition. The quake, which hit eight kilometres below the surface, measured between 5.2 and 5.8 on the Richter scale. Facing the future, the first images of the woman who received a groundbreaking face transplant have been revealed. 57-year-old Charla Nash had the surgery in a Boston hospital in May. She suffered horrific injuries after being attacked by a neighbor's pet chimpanzee in Connecticut two years ago. No wedding bells on Sesame Street. Bert and Ernie will not marry in a same-sex ceremony, despite a petition calling for the union. A statement from the show's maker says the puppets are neither gay or straight and do not have a sexual orientation. Nearly 7,000 people have so far signed the online petition. And finally, talk about a lucky break. A group of Canadian manufacturing employees won a $7 million lottery jackpot just days after their company announced they'd be laid off. Each of the 18 workers in the pool will get nearly $400,000 each. It's a perfect amount of, to win. Uh, any more makes you different. This makes you comfortable. And you wish everyone could experience this kind of feeling. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, hanging out, fail. At number four, how not to jump into a pool. At number three, that's one small leaf for man, one massive dinner for a tiny tortoise. At number two, someone's home from summer camp and eager to show what they learned. Um, praise Jesus. And then you want to reach down low and then you say, rebuke the devil! Money well spent, okay, I'd so say. If you're following along at home, you know, praise Jesus. Rebuke the devil! And that's what we learned at church camp. And number one today, don't let the uniforms fool you, tarp rolling ain't easy. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories. Let's catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with all the sports. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.